Hi, this is my brand new 2023 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. It has 100 kilometers on it. Uh, brought it home from the dealer yesterday and I'm going to chronicle my maintenance activities on this truck. It's the first brand new vehicle I've ever owned. So I get to take care of it right from the start. Um, and for the record, I'm a, a class uh, 310S mechanic. So um, I'm all about the maintenance of vehicles. I keep my stuff in very, very good condition and I'm going to attempt to keep this truck as nice as I can. And fortunately for me, I have a hoist, which makes it a lot easier for me to do really good maintenance. So I brought it in this morning and put it up in the air. And the first thing I notice is that it's already got rust on it. Just from coming out of the factory and uh, being transported and sitting on the lot or whatever, uh, certain areas of unfinished metal have rust on them already. So the first thing I did was basically grab oh. myself a can of uh, high heat black paint and put some on some of the exhaust bits, clamps and things. Uh, I'd like to go over the, uh, the welds on stuff, paint the welds and uh, just normal black paint, thick black paint, um, painting over uh, bolt heads and things like that. So I'm just gonna do a quick tour of the underneath of the truck and show you some of the areas that I've already painted. So starting at the front here, Basically everything that's black now, all these bolts were just unfinished bolts. This bottom knuckle here where the ball joint sits in, there was already rust on these edges here. And then up into the control arm, the upper ball joint, um, same sort of thing, already had some rust forming. So I've just gone around and painted all of these bolt heads everything I could find. I just put some nice black paint on them. And that'll stop it from rusting right from the get-go. All of these were all, they're just normal bolts, but they don't have any paint on them. And my experience here living in Canada is after winter one, everything is already starting to rust. Also, all of the uh, welds, um, you'll see these spots along here. For some reason, they're already missing paint. So I'll just paint over all the welds. Just give them a good shot of paint and that will help my cause. I took my high heat paint. I like to just paint over these clamps even though I think some of them are stainless steel. Um, I still like to paint them. Uh, my last truck, I'm coming off of another Pro 4X I bought. Um, it was a 2017 and I bought it with like 25,000 kilometers on it and maintained it for uh, up until now. So maintain it for four years or something like that. And, you know, a lot of these, these bolts and these clamps and stuff were pretty rusty even by the time I got it. So... I just gave everything a really good coat of paint, try to stop it in its tracks. Muffler clamps generally are not stainless steel and they love to rust. You can see I paint over all the welds on the mufflers and resonators and stuff and the hangers I like to paint. You know, it would take them a long, long, long time to rot through if you didn't, but I just like to put a coat of paint on them. All of these bolts I also come down and paint the, the yoke on the drive shaft just to keep it from rusting as well. It's unfinished metal. All the bolt heads on the shocks. Basically, once again, anywhere I can find something that hasn't been painted, I just give it a shot of paint. It's June here now, and in September, I have a friend that does undercoating, so he'll come over to the house, and this vehicle will get a really good uh, oil spray before winter, well, a few months before winter, give it time to soak in and stuff, and um, that will help its cause as well. 
Um, I undercoat my vehicles every year for the 110 bucks it costs me to do each vehicle. It's a no brainer. And um, the Pro 4X I just turned in, it didn't have any rust on it at all. I keep the paint really nice, a good coat of wax on it and stuff. And um, it had no rust on it. This truck, because I bought it new, um, I had it, uh, Nissan offers a product called Shark Skin for the paint. It's some kind of protectant and they give you a lifetime guarantee on rust and stuff. So I had that done as well. Um, and they also claim that you don't have to apply wax to it after you've had it on. So I'll see how that goes as well. I'll, I'll update that as well and let you know how, how it's looking. So that's what I've done to the underside of this vehicle. I'm also going to take some lube and, and, and spray up some things like the spare tire uh, mount and stuff. So if I ever have to get it down, it'll come off nice and easy.